for this video we're going to take a look at some of the rate average nodes or sometimes they're classed as smooth nodes to help um, tidy up some of our code and to you know, stop some issues that we have with pushing too much data into trends uh, especially the trend visualization on node red but also sending too much data to the cloud there's there's no need to send the, the data the speed we're collecting it so let's have a look at our flow we ha are reading some process data using a python shell so this is reading python code or executing python code and bringing back the process values from uh, an accelerometer which has got three process values x y and z axis coming in and the python code is running about once every 100 milliseconds so let's just have a look at this running you can see the data coming in and this this is good because it means that i am seeing the raw data from the sensor pushing this and sending this all up to the cloud probably isn't the answer we can do some edge functionality here to to take the average of this and then push that up in smaller chunks let's take a look at the first node the the bad news is there's no rate average or smoothing nodes installed on on node red as standard so the first one we'll look at is the rate average and you can see here rate average and this is a, a very basic average node so let's have a look at that in our flow it it appears here under the function node you can see here now rate average I've pulled that into to my code and we'll have a look at how we can execute this there's two ways of doing this so we can do it on time or we can do it on count so that's how many messages it receives so if we did uh, if this is 100 milliseconds update time I believe so if we did 10 that would be the equivalent to one second or we can just do it on time so we're doing 500 milliseconds and then you'll get one value out which is the average of all of those process values I'm reading every 500 milliseconds to two decimal places so let's have a look we've deployed that already so it's in my code here for the three process values you can see it here this is it showing it counting up how many process values are landing for each average so it's an indication that it's working click on here I can see every 500 milliseconds my, my value so I'll go into my code now and I'll change that to every second and you can see now I'm getting the process value every second so that's nice that's that's pretty usable helps with my trends and everything I don't really need that you know 100 millisecond data going straight up to the cloud I, I can do a bit of computing here but what it's done now is potentially I could miss a spike so if all of a sudden I hit my sensor that's a very quick reaction but that action could have caused some damage and now I've missed it so we need to have uh, another way of bringing back the average but also recording some other useful information that I can then use in the cloud to, to detect all of my anomalies and the best node to to achieve that is this smooth node so this is one that will potentially catch you out because you'll be looking within your uh, library or your palette for rate average filters and this one's called smooth so let's have a, a look at this so here it is but it now adds a little bit of functionality it loses something which I'll explain in a minute yeah, you can do your, your mean average which is similar to what we were just doing with the other block we can also use it to, uh, to give out standard deviation now you can't have multiple outputs from this one block so you'd have to use it over and over again depending on, on what you wanted and also your minimum and max so now I'm getting those spikes that I could potentially miss my mean but I'm also getting standard deviation if everything is reacting you know, as normal my standard deviation should be quite low if I get a few spikes that are causing me issues then my standard deviation will start going up so that's a good easy 
process value to put up to the cloud that's going to aid you know some machine learning or AI. So let's have a look at this in action. So I haven't put it here under my vibration, I put it under my light. And you can see here I've got my two process values coming out. And I've put in the smooth. Let's have a look at this first one. I've labelled it up as average, so you can see here average. The the downside to this, I've, you can see here action, I've got multiple actions, low pass filter, standard deviation. I've got it set to mean average, but I don't have the option to do count or time like I had with the rate average filter. So I've got to do a bit of maths in my head. I know that I'm updating, I think, every 200 milliseconds for this particular one. So that's, you know, five messages per second. So I've set it to 25, so roughly five seconds. And then set that to two decimal places. All of the messages in the stream, I can have individual topics coming in, but I'm just having one message. And then this is important. If you don't tick this, what you'll get on the output of this block, you'll get all of the process values that you've been using to average and the average. Well, I'm not interested in all of the other values. I just want the average. So I'll tick this. So I've done that. So I've done that for, for my light and I've also done it for my ambient light. But for my light value in Lux, I've also decided to return the maximum value and the minimum value. I've labeled these up so you can see down here as well and my standard deviation. Now I've processed those um, five values, I need to push those into storage and then create a, a JSON message. Just so you don't get confused with this video, I've changed the default storage location for my context storage from memory to file and that's important because you, know, you could get confused if you've got this set some, to something else so I'll sort of explain as we go through so let me move this out of the way so for each of these process values if we have a look I'm moving the message payload to global light underscore average file not memory okay and I'm doing that for each one of these my message here that I'm creating, and this is the important bit, if you had, just to go back to this, this set as memory for your default, you would have to put comma file here at the end. But because I've got file set to my default, I don't have to do anything. You can see here on the right hand side, this is my global context storage. So all I'm doing here is I'm retrieving this memory location into a temporary uh, tag, if you like, and then I'm pushing that tag, tag into a message payload. So if I now check my debug for the value coming out of here, you will see that I have a payload and it's updating every five seconds. So I have my average, my min, my max, and then all I'm doing is pushing this now to um, InfluxDB on the cloud. We've covered this on previous videos. This is all my information here that I'm pushing up. I'm sending it to uh, a measurement called Office Light. So let's have a quick look at what that looks like in the cloud. As you can see on the, the screen, I'm using InfluxDB in the cloud. I'm using the free version, which I think I get a month's worth of data storage, but it's enough for what I'm trying to do with these videos. And you can see here Office Lights. If I have a look in my flow, you can see here my measurement I've set as Office Lights and my bucket is Node Red. So we have Node Red here as my bucket and then office lights and you can see here all of my different values that's my light I'm bringing that back as a five second average so I've just labeled it as light and then I have my min max and standard deviation so I can see now all of those process values on my trend so there you have it average it's a very powerful function you'll probably use it quite a lot within Node-RED if you've got fast moving data that you don't want to send to the cloud or 
clog up you know other functions i hope you found that useful as per usual don't forget to click on the notification button and i hope to see you again soon thanks for listening